Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. You already know. I want to give a shout out to Notification Gang and Key Talk Gang, even though they're really the same thing, for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and like the video and hit the bell so you get a notification every time I drop a video. Yeah. Anyway, so everybody knows once you see somebody pretty much inside of a mugshot inside of jail And if you see any type of crying or tearing up Everybody always makes the running joke and be like, oh, yeah, that, and he better be the one that's gonna tell on everybody You already know well co-founder of YSL. He's actually turned himself in You already know buddy was pretty much he had courts a day and while he had courts a day on somebody he was bawling his eyes out uh you know the but the judge denied him a bun and pretty Pretty much his lawyer came on and said, hey, man, look, my cry, my, 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 my clients, you know, he's crying right now. He's crying right now. He's a changed man. I'm going to deny Bond at this point in time. His lawyer, Jacoby Hudson, admits he went off. He's changed, sir. He's crying. He's doing the right thing. Anyways, Buddy said he just got out of jail and he's not trying to go back at all. He just completed his transition from going back to jail to young time I into the real world. And he said he got his GED. And his lawyer came on and pretty much said, hey, man, y'all got my guy arrested right now. He already done did some time. This case is about Jeffrey Young Thug. That's who y'all need to go out there because that's who this is really all about. He's the big fish in this situation. Not my client, Walter Murphy. The whole case is about Jeffrey Young Thug, Jeffrey Lamar Williams. That's who they want. My client don't want to talk about Jeffrey Williams. A prosecutor with the Fulton County District Attorney's Office says Hudson was told if Murphy cooperated with the DA's office, the office would cooperate with him. Now you know. Pretty much after they saw that, they've already told Buddy, hey man, listen, you come cooperate with us, we're going to cooperate with you. AKA, you give us some information so we can for sure lock Thug up and we will let you go. You already know. Buddy already knows what's on the line if you do any type of ratting or snitching at all. Just like the other people that said, hey man, we scared to snitch on Thug, man. He going to get our whole family gone, us gone, and everybody around us gone. So you can imagine, you know, I'm talking about the scaredness inside a buddy right now but this all comes with being a part of the streets you got to take the good with the bad you know talking about getting the money the good and then of course the jail is the bad anyways so the last time we spoke about nba young boys right hand man nba baba he was pretty much saying that i think he need like thirty thousand dollars or forty thousand more dollars to secure a lawyer you already know well buddy must have got the money that he needed because now he's going viral online because he called home was talking to somebody and he pretty Pretty much said, man, I just want to say I got caught in about 40 days. You know, I'm talking about for sentencing and stuff like that. But before that happened, I want to say F little Dirk's mama. Yeah, F your mama, little Dirk. You already know. People on the internet was like, what in a blue hell is Buddy saying that right now? You know, somebody is fighting his case, about to have court coming up. But I guess if, it, if it's F the ops while you free, it's F the ops while you locked up behind bars as well. Anyways. <laughs> Let that f*** your mama. I didn't want to say that for the record here because I know you guys don't see this shit. And, um, and, 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 and for that G right now, you heard me again for that old block. Let that guy for shame. Ain't nobody coming to that room with what they got to do. Post up in the mouth right now. Like, 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 like. If you, yeah, you heard me swing through that shit without. So NBA Baba is actually talking like he's still out on the block. Obviously, he's still connected out there even from inside of the jail because he said, man, I know people that's posted up in the north right now. Nobody ain't going to Baton Rouge with none of that talk that he doing. Go on ahead and swing through there and see what happens. Anyways, let me know something. Hey, man, how do y'all feel about what NBA Baba is pretty much saying? Do y'all feel like Buddy, you know, Tommy, you're a gangster, you got to be a gangster 24-7? Or does Buddy need to just chill out and worry about his case that he's fighting right now? Also, how do y'all feel about what Young Thug co-founder, you know, Tommy, the YSL co-founder, you know, Walter Murphy, I think that's his name. Do y'all feel like Buddy's going to fold? Or do y'all feel like Buddy's going to stand strong because he knows what happens if he folds? Let me know something. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire ordeal. I'm out.